वेलकम टू द थर्ड लेक्चर ऑफ रिमाइंडर दिस इज यूजफुल फॉर कैट एंड ओमेट एग्जाम ना इन दिस पार्ट में डिस्कस ए रेस्ट पावर एन प्लस बी रेस्ट पावर एन एंड ए रेस्ट पावर एन माइनस बी रेस्ट पावर एन बिफोर वी स्टार्ट अवर लेक्चर आई इन्वाइट यू टू ज्वाइन अवर टेलीग्राम कैट ग्रुप आई विल पुट दिस लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑल्सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू ज्वाइन ग्रुप फॉर टीसनेट और सीमेंट देन ऑल्सो आई विल पुट दिस लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द कंसेप्ट सो लेट्स से बी है ए प्लस बी ओके इफ आई आस्क यू इफ आई डिवाइड दिस बाई ए प्लस बी देन वाट वुड माई रिमाइंडर सो ऑब्वियसली दिस रिमाइंडर विल बी जीरो राइट वाई बिकॉज दिस डिवाइड्स दिस कंप्लीटली डिवाइड्स दिस पार्ट राइट बट इफ आई से ए प्लस बी डिवाइडेड बाई ए माइनस बी Is it divisible by a minus b? No, right. Similarly, if I say a square plus b square divided by a plus b, is it divisible by a plus b? Again, no. But if I say a square minus b square divided by a plus b, so this is divisible, right? Why? Because a square minus b square is a plus b into a minus b. I'm sure you must be aware of this formula. So that's why we need to form a generalized Some generalized results. So let's say when we discuss a raised power n plus b raised power n. So this is divisible by this is divisible by a plus b. If if n is odd, if n is odd, okay. But this is not divisible by not divisible by a minus. Okay. So, for example, a cube plus b cube, a raised power five plus b raised power five, a raised power two zero two three plus b raised power two zero two three. So, all these expressions are divisible by a plus b. Why? Because first the powers are odd and they are same. Okay, don't please please note that these powers are same. Okay, so these powers have to be same and they have to be odd. Then this will be divisible by a plus. B. Okay. Now, the second thing is. Let's say I will take even powers. A raised power n plus b raised power n. N is even. For example, a raised a square plus b square. A raised power four plus b raised power four. So these are not divisible by. These are neither neither divisible by a plus b, nor divisible by a minus b. Okay. So these are not divisible at all. Now let's focus on a raised power n minus b raised power. Now this is divisible by. A plus b and a minus b both. If n is even, okay. If n is even. So, for example, a square minus b square. So you must have seen this formula a plus b a minus b. So basically, this is this is divisible by both a plus b and a minus. B. Similarly, a raised power four minus b raised power four. So you can simplify this further as a square plus b square, a square minus b square, right? And you can. Again, rewrite this as a plus b into a minus b. Hence, this is also divisible by a plus b and a minus b. But if I take, but if I take a cube minus b cube, right? So if I take odd powers, so this will be only divisible by a minus b. You must have seen this formula: a minus b a square plus a b plus b square, right? So this will be only divisible by a minus b, not a plus. B. So these properties are very important. All these properties. One more property is there actually. One more property is there. Okay, let me write it here. So one more property is. Let's say we have a raised power n plus b raised power n plus c raised power n, and so on. Divided by a plus b plus c and so on. Okay. If n is odd, if n is odd, then this is divisible. This is completely divisible. Hence, remainder will be zero. So this property that we saw here, that if n is odd, it is divisible by a plus b. This can be extended to many variables. Okay. So we can say that even if it is being extended to let's say hundred variables, then also it will be divisible by individual sums. So this property will be also used frequently. Okay, so now let's move on to the question part. So the first question says two raised power 
you might find that this is perfectly fit for our this pattern okay so i hope this is clear to you okay now let's move on to the next question okay again now this is slightly different one okay now the first thing that you should notice here is these two powers are different so we have a raised power n fine but we have b raised power m sort of thing right so we can't apply directly why because these powers should be first this power should be same and this power should be odd also this power is even right so it means that again we will have to somehow manipulate this so can i rewrite this as 2 2 2 raised power 5 raised power 1 1 1 plus 5 raised 5 5 2 raised power 1 1 1 1 squared by 7 now if you notice here these two powers are odd and they are same also now let's focus on these bases so if i divide 22 2 2 4 times by 7 i am going to get a remainder of so 7 3 21 12 1 52 3 3 right? raised power 5 raised power 1 1 1 plus if you divide this one so 7 into 7 49 65 7 9 63 2 25 7 3 21 4 4 this is 4, 2 raised power 1 right divided by 7 okay now if we add these two 3 raised power 5 that would be 3 raised power 5 would be 3 raised power 4 is 81 and 3 243 so if we apply this pattern so 243 plus 16 259 right so this whole expression should be divisible by 259 now if we will have to notice whether 7 is the factor of this or not right so if we multiply this uh, if we divide this by 7 so 7 into 3 21 and 4 yeah, yes so this is also factor right so it means that if this whole expression is divisible by 259 so obviously this whole expression will be divisible by all the factors of 259 also and since 7 is the factor of 259 therefore this whole expression will be divisible by 7 also hence we can say that this remainder will be equal to 0 okay so this remainder is going to be 0 so again this was also a very good question if you notice here also we could not apply our theorem directly but somehow we manipulated our bases and we manipulated our exponents then we were able to convert this to a pattern of a raised power n plus b raised power n divided divided by a plus b, right so this these concepts are going to be very very important and very very helpful for you you can solve lots of questions on such patterns okay now let's discuss a cat y two question so we have 15 raised power 23 plus 23 raised power 23 divided by 19 now here we have odd powers and both are same so we can apply our theorem directly So 15 raised power 23 plus 23 raised power 23 will be divisible by 15 plus 23, right? This will be divisible. That is remainder will be zero. Now this is nothing but 38, right? 15 raised power 23 plus 23 raised power 23. So if this number, if this number is divisible by 38, so obviously this number will be also divisible by 19, right? Why? Because 19 is a factor of this. It is a factor of 38. So therefore, this remainder will be equal to zero. This remainder will be equal to zero. I hope this is clear to you. I'm sure you understood the concept here, right? So this is an easy question actually. Okay, again a cat PYQ question from two two thousand five. Okay, now here I will use the this extended one a raised power n plus b raised power n plus c raised power n plus d raised power n so here we have four variables right so this will have to be divisible by a plus b plus c plus d what is the condition if n is odd fine so if you notice here we have same powers and all these powers are odd so this whole expression will be divisible by 16 plus 17 plus 18 plus 19 now if you add these so 16 plus 17 33 Plus eighteen fifty one plus nineteen seventy. So it means that we can say that 
this whole expression will be divisible by 70 hence remainder would be 0 right remainder will be 0 so i hope this is clear to you and this was a very good question actually uh, many many a time what people do is they apply this in a in a group so what they will do is they will take 16 and 19 so 30 16 cube plus 19 cube so 16 cube plus 19 cube so this will be divisible by 16 plus 19 35 right Again, they will choose 17 plus 18, that will be 35. So, this whole number will be divisible by 35. But how will you prove that this is divisible by 70? So, in the second method, they will somehow prove that this is this big number is even also. Right? So, this method is lengthy actually. So, why don't uh, why don't we use the extended one? Right? Obviously, you can prove you can find the remainder as 0 by using this method also that you find you form two groups of 16 and 19 17 and 18 so you are able to prove that this is divisible by 35 but one more thing you have to prove is that this is divisible by 2 as well right so we'll have to prove that the the big number that is being in the written the numerator is is nothing but an even number an even number right so that is a slightly tricky part okay i hope this uh, this whole concept of a raised power n plus b raised power n and a raised power n minus b raised power n is clear to you. Now there are some practice questions for you. You have to answer them in the comment section. So this question is there 2023 raised power 2025 plus 2025 raised power 2025 divided by 2024. What is the remainder? Right. So I am not, uh, this is actually a straightforward application of, I am not, you, you don't need to manipulate here actually. I could have made. I could have made the uh, made it slightly difficult for you as well, but this is slightly uh, this is a straightforward. Okay, you should be able to solve this. Okay, the second question is 97 raised power 61 plus 43 raised power 61 divided by 70. What is the remainder? So please put the answer of these two questions in the comment section. Also, please don't forget to join our Telegram cat group. This will be highly beneficial for you. I will put all these PDFs there. Okay. So, please don't forget to join our Telegram. Okay, so I hope this was extremely helpful for you. If you have any feedback or if you have any queries, any doubts, you can always put it in the comment section. And also, please support our channel by subscribing and please share it with other serious cat experiments. I am sure that if you like, like our content, then you can always share it with other experiments also, right? So, thank you.